Good morning everybody. So it's day two on my little birthday trip here in Sagres. We came here yesterday if you saw that video. So we're going to be heading out soon from the place we're staying, Casa Azul in Sagres. I think we're going to visit some viewpoints, check out some beaches as well. Just like yesterday the weather is not looking too great but over there it's nice and blue and we're actually heading in that direction so we might get lucky. I think there's some surfers heading out. Pretty much only surfers around here right now. So we're just waiting for the rest of the family to get ready and then we'll head out. So this first stop we've come to was about a 17 minute drive from Sagres. It's called the Castellejo viewpoint, Miradouro do Castellejo, I think it's called. And I saw this place on Instagram and I'm really glad we came because check out these for some views. So we're really high right now. This over here is a beach called Praia da Cardoama. Some people down there just to show how high we are. There's actually a trail down here so you can walk all the way down to the beach. You can also drive there if you want. But look how wild that ocean is. That's the wild Atlantic out there. And then just over this side is another beach called Castellejo. Same name as the, the viewpoint. Yeah, this is one of the best views that we've seen though. Awesome views of the coastline. <laughs> Pretty good spot, right? Yeah. And with the sea mist, it looks Yeah, different. the mist. Yeah. Yeah, it looks awesome. I think I should get the, the drone out. what my mom's been collecting. Where did you find those? Just there. It's full of them. Yeah. Mushrooms. Oh, that's an unusual one, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if it's just because it's Whoop. turned <laughs> Almost broke. Okay. Let me see that one. Yeah, it's a different kind, I think, yeah. right? I don't know if it's just what locked. So they're all over there? Yeah. I'll probably check it out. <laughs> Look, somebody walking right uh, on the other mountain. See a red, little red coat. Oh, all the way yeah, over there. Yeah, on the second mountain. Yeah. Yeah, so here you can see the signpost. Hotta Vicentina, that's the famous walk around here. So that just goes all the way up the coast. You'd have to go all the way down there and just keep going. Hours and hours. Would be an incredible walk though. 
So we're gonna head to the next spot now. We're pretty much just gonna drive up the west coast here and yeah, just stop at different beaches that we've never been to. So yeah, I think it's gonna be really awesome. The coast here is probably the best coastline I've ever seen in any country. It's so diverse as well. If you've been watching the videos, you obviously get the places with like the, the orange rocks, right? You have the other areas where there's like uh, sandbars. Uh, just non-stop beaches and then even in Sagres it's more of like a darker rock all different kinds of rocks and formations and here's a lot greener I thought here was gonna be like black rock as well but yeah it is very green over here <laughs> amazing so that down there is the other beach that I was talking about before that is Castellejo beach looks like a little tiny one there's a house I don't know if it's a house or yeah I don't know abandoned building <laughs> on its own over there bizarre all around here is awesome though we we park just a bit way down and yeah it's just basically empty hills loads of windmills here as well because usually it's very windy here wild <laughs> about a 20 minute drive from that last spot that we were at we've come to a place called Praia da Bordeira I think that's what it's called and once again the landscapes completely changed so over here you got pretty much like sand dunes this is all sand I didn't even know you had sand dunes here and just look how beautiful this is here it's like a, a lagoon I guess Wow, this is amazing though. I had no idea the Algarve had places like this. So you can see the sand dunes all over there and the beach is way back, but you just have this huge strip of sand here and this, yeah, beautiful calm lake. But it looks like there's walkways all over there, like trails and stuff all the way to the end. Beautiful here though. Yeah, this coast is fantastic. Yeah, it keeps changing. Yeah, we, we didn't know there were sand dunes in this side. Yeah, I, I didn't know at all. Never even seen it in pictures or anything. Yeah, what a place. Need to get one of these little vans to travel in. Looks cool. When we get in our van. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we ended up driving a bit further up to towards the coast because yeah, we were obviously quite far back there and there was no easy way to the beach. And there's this cool boardwalk here. So yeah, we're just gonna walk down here and it looks like you have awesome views of the beach and the cliffs back there. Look how beautiful this looks as well. Looks like a good surf spot. Yeah. All the waves. Yeah, we should come back. I don't know when, but on yeah. a surf trip. Yeah. Get wiped trip. out. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So the sun has completely come out now, probably one of the nicest days we've had in weeks. And yeah, it's pretty much like t-shirt and short weather once again. And we're in the middle of December, so that's crazy. But now you get a better idea of just how wide this beach is. So we were all the way back there somewhere. This huge stretch of sand. And yeah, this boardwalk is awesome. Amazing views of the waves, they're huge. No surfers out there today, not on this beach. out guys huge waves bashing against these rocks whoa <laughs> whoa ah, that is awesome more to come <laughs> We've now come to a town called Cajapatera, which is right next to the beach Bordera. You could even walk from here. And yeah, it seems to be a bit of an old little historic village. I said town, but I think it's a village. And we got this cute little old church here. Really nice one. I think there's some information over here. So yeah, this is from the 16th century, this little church in 1873. The roof collapsed and crushed 10 people. So this is how it looks from the front. Probably one of the oldest looking churches that I've seen in the Algarve. And from the church you get some amazing views. So that was the beach we just went to back there. Little old windmill house there, so that looks pretty cool. Loads of old buildings there, even this one looks like it's probably from the 16th century. Cool little old car as well. There we go. Calm down. <laughs> Check this little house out for sale. You gotta crouch down. <laughs> ended up coming back to Sagres and we've come to the famous lighthouse here. We weren't planning on coming here at all but yeah we just decided to visit it. We came here last year as well so this is pretty much the most famous part to see in Sagres I think along with the fort. So here also you see the cliffs are absolutely epic. 
Got a fisherman all the way down there. And this is like the complete tip, right? Yeah. The, the corner. West, the most western tip of the Algarve. So I remember this spot last time. I think this is like the old walls of probably the old lighthouse. And then the new ones just through here. So it's called Farol di San Vicente. So we gotta wear the mask in here. It's so weird seeing this place like this because when we came last time it was pretty much packed with tourists but now we're the only people here. There literally isn't a single other person here right now. So over this side is the south coast of the Algarve and then this side is the west coast. I don't think you'll ever see this like this again. You'll ever, never ever see this like this again on a day like this. Yeah. It shows you there's no tourists about to us. Yeah, not really, right? What, the cave? Yeah. Ah, so there is no beach, right? It might be here. I don't think so. I think it's just a big cliff edge. Just more epic cliffs. Literally like just a vertical drop the whole way. There are loads of little caves though. We can see them here. I think they have boat tours around here, right? Yeah, uh, there's a t uh, boat over there. Over there. So maybe it's a boat tour. But uh, we've, we've seen signs about boat tours and I think it would be cool to do it. We've never done a boat tour in the Algarve yet, but pretty much along the whole coast you can do them. I think the popular ones are more around an area like uh, Benagil, that kind of area there. That's where you get the famous caves, but you can do them around here as well, everywhere. We've now come to the final stop of the day which is the fort. You can actually see the fort back there. We're not going in the fort. We only came here for the sunset because the receptionist at the place that we stay in said, this is a good spot. So yeah, we thought we might as well check it out. Not sure how the sunset's gonna be though because the clouds have come out. Looks pretty nice over there though. So yeah, we'll find out. That's the beach you went to yesterday, isn't it? Tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, so yesterday we came down that beach, if you watched yesterday's video. And the waves look just as crazy here as it did yesterday. going to head out now wasn't much of a sunset because there's too many clouds but still nice watching the ocean either way and I mentioned before that it's my birthday today and we all just realized that it's the first time that I spend my birthday with my parents in about 12 years 
like so long so yeah it is a special day special occasion because of that because um yeah i lived in brazil and in houston texas for pretty much the last like 10 years and then been traveling for the last two years as well and they lived in like portugal brazil also but it just never happened that we were in the same place in december so yeah first time in 12 years crazy <laughs> Anyway, we're going to be heading back home tomorrow to Portimao, so that's it for Sagres, but we might actually come back here again and maybe film something more before we leave in January, leave Portugal that is. So yeah, stay tuned for the next videos, if you like this video drop a like to support us, subscribe if you like to see more videos like this, follow us on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Bye!